Theory of Corrosion Metallic materials are normally exposed to corrosion in the dry, wet and acidic environments. So, there are three theories of corrosion. First is chemical or dry theory of corrosion, another is acid theory of corrosion, and electrochemical or wet theory of corrosion. Chemical or dry corrosion. The chemical or dry corrosion is defined as the direct chemical attack of metals by the atmospheric gases or anhydrous inorganic liquids present in the environment. Atmospheric gases are oxygen, halogen, hydrogen sulfide, sulfur dioxide, nitrogen, etc. Dry corrosion, mainly of the following three types. Oxidation corrosion, corrosion by gases. Liquid metal corrosion. Oxidation corrosion. Oxidation corrosion occurs when there is a direct action of oxygen at low or high temperature on metals in the absence of moisture. At normal temperature, there is a slight attack on the metal. But the alkali and alkaline earth metals are more prone and rapidly oxidized at low temperatures. Almost all metals like iron, aluminium, etc., except noble metals, are oxidized at high temperatures by the interaction with oxygen. Mechanism of Oxidation Corrosion The process of oxidation starts at the exposed surface of metal. The metal loses electrons and changes to metal ions. Oxygen accepts these electrons and changes to oxide ion. At the point of contact of metal ion and oxide ion, metallic oxide is formed. Corrosion by gases. In the absence of moisture of atmosphere, a few gases like hydrogen sulfide, sulfur dioxide, chlorine, nitrous oxide etc. attack metals. It occurs whenever a gas or liquid chemically attacks an exposed surface, often a metal. The corrosion rate is accelerated by warm temperatures and by acids and salts. Hydrogen sulfide is the most hazardous element, which exists in oil and gas reservoir. In industrial boiler, hydrogen sulfide gas reacts with iron at high temperature and forming ferrous sulfate film, which corrodes iron. Mechanism of Corrosion by Gases When hydrogen sulfide flows through steel pipes, the iron in the steel reacts with hydrogen sulfide to form a passivation coating of iron sulfide and hydrogen gas.
liquid metal corrosion. The destruction of a solid metal surface, or an alloy due to chemical action of molten liquid at high temperatures, is known as liquid metal corrosion. It results in the weakening of solid metal due to the dissolution of solid metal into liquid metal. For example, in the nuclear reactor, the liquid sodium metal leads to the corrosion of cadmium. Whereas, liquid sodium metal acting as coolant and cadmium rods are used to control the fission rate. When molten sodium metal is continuously passed on cadmium surface, it causes corrosion due to dissolution or internal penetration. Other example, when liquid mercury diffuses along the small defects and grain boundaries of the alloy, it reduces its ductility and strength. This can lead to rapid propagation of corrosion. If mercury is present in the environment surrounding a brass specimen, then Mercury causes embrittlement and leads to liquid metal attack. <laughs>